A string of car bombs exploded Thursday in Baghdad, killing at least one person and injuring 22 others. This comes just as Iraqi forces are tightening security ahead of a funeral for a top Shiite leader. The car bombs primarily targeted Iraqi troops. The violence raises concerns as to whether Iraqi forces can provide adequate security for thousands of people expected to mourn the death of Abdul Aziz al-Hakim. The blasts are the latest in a string of attacks in the Iraqi capital. Last week, two suicide truck bombings targeted the foreign and finance ministries, killing about 100 people. Iraqi TV later broadcast a confession from one of the alleged attackers. He claims that they bribed security personnel with $10,000 to get a bomb-laden truck past checkpoints and next to the finance ministry. The U.S. military is closely watching the developments around al-Hakim's death. U.S. troops continue to pull out of Iraq, I don't think while they're... domestic forces take more responsibility for the war-torn country's security. Still, U.S. officials worry about how continuing violence will affect parliament elections in January. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.